looking for a cousin on a swing. When she was four or five, she sat on a village swing and her cousin, six or seven, sat himself against her. I think I said, while discussing the title of the present poem, Looking for a Cousin on a Swing by Ekera Manujan, that one of the most important thematic concerns of the poem is female sexuality. And the treatment of female sexuality by the poem is part of the massive revolution unleashed by Indian poets in English after independence. Of course, I was right. But I would like to amplify on what I have said and put forward the claim that the present poem explores not merely female sexuality but also child sexuality. This is even more of a revolution. Can you imagine any pre-independence Indian poet in English discussing child sexuality in his poetry? What do I mean when I say sexuality? Sexuality is the ability to experience. Sexuality is the ability to experience. It's the ability to experience and express sexual feelings. Sexuality is a rather wide subject. It includes feelings, thoughts, attractions, behavior. It deals with how people feel about themselves and their bodies. Coming to child sexuality, century after century, it was traditionally believed that children are usually asexual. This position was completely reversed by Sigmund Freud in his book Three Essays on the Theory of Sexuality. Three Essays on the Theory of Sexuality published in 1905. Freud acknowledged the existence of child sexuality. Not only acknowledged the existence of child sexuality, he also attempted to map that uncharted, that hitherto uncharted terrain. It is in the light of this Freudian theory of child sexuality that we have to read, comprehend and interpret the opening lines of the poem under discussion. When she was four or five, she sat on a village swing. The poem has a rather enigmatic opening, quite typical of Eke Ramanujan. There is a lightness of touch, which is an important characteristic of Ramanujan's poetry. When she was four or five, who is this she? The poet does not make it clear. She could be anybody. She could be anybody, but the title gives us a clue regarding the identity of the she in the opening line of the poem. What is the title of the poem? Looking for a cousin on a swing. When she was four or five, most likely, most probably, she is the person who is looking for a cousin on a swing. That much we can 
rather shakily conclude. When she was four or five, she sat on a village swing. So the ambience is a rural one. The setting is a rural one. Village swing. Even uh, lower middle class people sometimes have swings of their own in their houses. Even middle class people sometimes have swings in their houses, their own swings in their houses. But here is a village swing. And she, whoever she is, sat on a village swing. I've already said that the, the swing is more than a mere swing. The swing here, the swing in this poem is more than a mere swing. It can be looked upon as a symbol. The swing moves back and forth and the rhythm of the swing closely parallels the rhythm of the sexual act. When she was four or five, she sat on a village swing and her cousin. Her cousin is the son or the daughter of her uncle or her aunt. In the context of the poem, it, it is clear, it becomes clear that the cousin is a he and not a she. And her cousin, six or seven, sat himself against her. She sits on the swing, she sits on the swing, and the cousin also sits on the swing. How does the poet put it? Sat himself against her. He sits on the swing, fine. He does not merely sit on the swing. He sits himself against her. Thus there is no space between the two bodies. The two cousins are sitting on the swing and the bodies are very close, physically very close to each other. There is no space between the bodies. The bodies are in close physical contact with each other. Perhaps the only question is whether there was skin to skin contact I think we should ask Pushpa Ganedi Wala, the Bombay High Court judge, who recently gave a controversial judgment in which the justice said that only if there is skin to skin contact, the accused can be convicted in a child abuse case. Pushpa Ganidiwala was a district judge before she was promoted to the Bombay High Court. But her posting as a justice of the Bombay High Court was not made permanent. And I understand that because of the controversial judgment her posting her promotion has been reversed.